Hi, I am Kyle Andrews, and this is my year one LA. Uh, well, my first year in LA was really exciting and really confusing um, because I had come here from Boston wanting to be an actor and believing that I was going to make it within my first year because that's just how it was gonna work out. And then I got to LA and realized how big a town it is. And just figuring out your foundation for being in here took an entire year for me. You know, I did a, a lot of side jobs, um, a lot of couch surfing my first year. Um, I had gone to school for acting, and when I came out here, it was two years after graduation, so people were already living in town, so I had some friends whose couches I could surf on, and I spent about six months moving from apartment to apartment and friend to friend on their couch, and then six months in, I was finally able to get a job here, which allowed me to get a small uh, part of a room in somebody else's apartment, which was exciting. You know, trying to get a job in LA is one of the hardest things to do in the first year because there are so many transplants in this town and many people leave in their first year. So it's hard for companies here to hire folks in their first year because they wanna know they're hiring someone, training someone and putting them in they will still be here after a year. Uh, once I got through that setup, I found it much easier to stick around. People were saying, okay, you're gonna, you've been here a year, you're gonna be here a while, here's a job. So my expectations here were that I would come out, get a job. I had some money saved from being a real estate agent in Boston, so I had that to rely on while I was getting my footing underneath me. Uh, of course, that went quicker than I expected. I actually ended up living in the Mayfair Hotel, downtown LA for a month because it, they didn't need a lease to be signed. Uh, so I just lived there for you know a whole month while coming into Hollywood and coming to downtown LA and doing auditions and not having a car and having to get to Burbank and get out to Santa Monica and get down to Long Beach for auditions to try to do the thing that I wanted to do when I came out here. LA is a very large city and I think most people don't understand the size of it until they get here. It's basically the size of Rhode Island. So if you're an actor, an artist, a writer or anything, you might have a job 20 miles away from where you are and you have to be able to get there. When I first moved to town, the public transportation system was nowhere near what it is now. There were only four lines on the subway and they went almost nowhere. Now there are like seven lines and you can get to Santa Monica, so that's exciting. But when I first came here, I was taking the bus everywhere. So to get to one audition, I would have to get on one bus, take that to the subway, take the subway to another bus, and then maybe even have another bus after that before I got to the audition, and then on the way back, that whole thing in reverse. So if I had a 10 minute, 20 minute audition, it might take me six hours. LA is a place where there is something for everybody. Um, you know, growing up in the Midwest and in New England, it feels as though you have to be a part of those cultures. Here in LA, there are many, many, many cultures and there are many, many neighborhoods. There are many, many uh, different places in town where you may have friends. You might have artists in one part of town, then you might have your business friends in another part of town. And so you start finding the places that appeal to you most. And I found a lot of really fun places in LA that had nothing to do with Hollywood or Malibu or Santa Monica or downtown or anything like that. Like um, Koreatown. Koreatown is where all my friends lived. There's not a lot to do there, but it's a great place to find your friends and go and hang out and go to everybody's houses. So I found a lot of community in LA. I'll tell you, what, whether or not I wanted to leave LA was not really up to me. You know, if you're an actor, you got LA, you got New York, you don't have a whole lot of other options to set down. So in my mind, I didn't give myself the room to leave. However, financially, there were many points where I could have gone somewhere else, I could have gone back to Massachusetts and it just would have been easier. Um, if you're going to stay in LA the first year, you do have to put the pedal to the metal and push through some difficult times to make it work. But I stayed because I didn't see a way forward anywhere else. Uh, and eventually, LA showed that it wanted me here too. And that's when I realized I wasn't gonna go anywhere. I think I had a, a moment 
when I was walking down Hollywood and seeing it for what it actually is and not the sort of concept that it presents itself to be, but actually seeing how grimy and how dirty <laughs> and how um, unappealing Hollywood itself was, was amazing because it let me see that this is a place where it doesn't just happen. You have to work for it. You have to work for it. And you have to pull away the curtain and actually look at the reality for what it is. So, so I think seeing that when I was actually walking down first and seeing Charlie Chaplin and Superman and Spider-Man and it's just a bunch of broke actors and getting a sense of this is reality. So you have to learn how reality is. That was a wake up call for me. And thankfully it came very early in being here. If you're thinking about making the move to LA, a couple things. First off, don't come out here broke. <laughs> I did. It's just easier if you have some cash first. Connections, for sure, if you know people in town who can put you up for a while, great. But remember, house guests are a lot like fish. After three days, they begin to smell a lot. And so people wanna get them out of the house. So have a plan. Also, if you have something internal that you have to deal with, I would encourage you to deal with that before you get here. I quit drinking before I moved to LA. I haven't had a drop in 11 years. I've been in LA for 11 years. I can't imagine doing this town and still having that issue holding over me. So definitely before you get here, make sure you are enough of yourself to come. If you're already here, push, push hard. It may be easy because there are opportunities for you to have fun and party in LA's life, and that is part of it. But while you're here setting down roots, make sure that you're tilling the soil. Make sure that you are watering it. Make sure that you are growing strong roots so that once that tree actually starts growing, it is growing strong and true. Uh, well, today I am a, uh, I am doing many things today. I am a script consultant, so I read a lot of screenplays and help writers uh, move forward with their scripts. I both do that in terms of the art of the script, plus uh, I help connect writers to representatives, managers, producers, things like that. Uh, I'm also currently opening my own production uh, shingle uh, to produce films over the coming years. Um, and of course, I'm still writing and acting as often as I can. I have, I think, since coming to LA, only grown and branched out my art, as opposed to had to put it in a box where LA wanted it to fit. I found the way to take everything that LA has and try to use it to my advantage. All right, great, that was perfect. Cool.